good day and welcome dudes. In this video, I'll show you guys how easy it is to install Linux Mint and Linux Peppermint on a couple of old laptops. Both these machines originally shipped with Windows 7. You will need a blank USB stick with capacity to store your intended Linux distro. Download your Linux distro of choice from the respective website. I chose Linux Mint, so we just need to head over to their website and download the ISO image. If installing from Windows, download and install Win32 Image Writer, following the on-screen instructions. Launch Win32 Disk Imager and navigate to the downloaded Linux ISO image. If nothing comes up, select asterisk dot asterisk from the drop-down menu and then select your ISO image and then hit the right button. This will take a while, so you're just gonna have to be patient. After the image has been written to your USB stick, you will have to enable your machine to boot from the USB stick via the BIOS menu. It's usually accessed by pressing the F2 key repeatedly upon starting up your machine. Go to the boot section and make sure your USB stick is top of the file. That means it will take precedence over all other devices in booting up initially. On this particular BIOS, we use the plus and minus keys to move the order of the devices. Select your USB stick entry and move it to the top. Exit and save new configuration. In the next clip, I am booting from a USB stick with an Ubuntu image downloaded from their official website. Here we have a live version of Ubuntu running. Simply click on the install icon and then follow the on-screen instructions. If a current operating system is already installed on the machine, the installer will detect it and give you the option of installing alongside it. This option is recommended. You can then allocate space available on your machine for your new operating system. If you don't need your old operating system, you can select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. Use this with caution as this will delete all your programs and personal files on your PC. When you have two or more operating systems installed on your PC, you are able to easily choose between them when you turn on your PC via the grub menu, as you can see here. Installing Linux Mint is the same process. After the system loads from the USB stick, you will get a screen similar to this one. Then we select the Install Linux Mint icon. Follow the on-screen instructions and it's really that simple. Beautiful Linux Mint here, working beautifully after being customized until my heart's content. The video you are watching was edited and encoded on this machine. With software called KDN Live. That's the beauty of Linux and open source computing. Heaps and heaps of free software mates. Why pay a small fortune for video editing software such as Adobe Premiere Pro when you can get professional video editing suites like KDN Live on Linux? GIMP is also available as a Photoshop alternative. Granted, these packages are also available on Windows, but one of the greatest benefits of Linux is the incredible amount of professional quality software available completely free. Linux is also highly customizable. Linux is also known not be as vulnerable to viruses and ransomware in comparison to Windows. I also installed Linux Peppermint on this cute little HP laptop. The little Atom CPU and low RAM just couldn't handle Linux Mint, so I removed it from the system and opted for Peppermint, which runs great on such a low-spec laptop. I liked that everything worked and looked great out of the box. Same step as other distros. You just select the install icon. Follow the installation instructions. Reboot and remove USB stick with Linux image and Bob's your sister. This laptop is very handy when I'm out and about and need a public internet connection via Wi-Fi. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to install Linux on an old laptop and still get great performance. No need to go ditching those old computers you crazy kids. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. Take care dudes.